Season 9 of Drake's Migration Nation is powered by Hydra Truck. Powerful, rugged, amphibious vehicles. Come right on in here and sit down. I've died and gone to duck hunter heaven. That a boy! Christmas has finally come. <laughs> whole ride out there it was just it was it was crazy nervous energy <laughs> i looked oh, through the go. holes on his beak <laughs> busting ducks in arkansas Drake's Migration Nation is powered by Hydra Trek. Last season, we got to hunt with our good friend Craig Simonton from Hydra Trek Amphibious Vehicles at the Full Contact Duck Club in Etowah, Arkansas. After hearing about the good times had in the Hilton Blind, Todd Copley insisted his name get on the invite list. Fortunately for us, or Todd rather, we got that invite and got to go back down and hunt at the Full Contact Duck Club. Last year, Tay Wood got an invite by Craig Simonton from Hydratrek to hunt down at Full Contact Duck Club in Etowah, Arkansas. And after seeing that show, I thought, man, I, I gotta get down there. Sometime, some chance, I gotta get a chance to go. And lucky for me, I got a call from Craig Simonton this year to get a chance to come down and hunt at Etowah, Arkansas Full Contact Duck Club. So I called my good friend, Scott. We loaded up the truck and we headed down to Arkansas. Uh, after about a seven hour drive, we finally made it into Etowah, uh, got to the Duck Club. Uh, Craig wasn't here yet, but he told us, you know, go ahead and go inside. Man, what a beautiful place this is. Just, you know, it's it's a duck club, but it's not. It's, it's kind of like uh, being at home. It wasn't long Craig showed up, and he also brought a friend of his who happens to be the vice president of Hydra Trek, Mike Scott, who brought his son, Matt, along for the hunt. One of the first people I got to meet here was Kyle Boyd. He's the manager here at Full Contact. And, you know, we talked about the facility, the setup, and, you know, it wasn't very long after our conversation, we started getting into the nitty gritty about what we're gonna do for the next few days. All along in the conversation, I'm hearing about, you know, where we're gonna set up, how the wind is gonna be, and all I can think about in my mind is the amount of ducks that we're gonna see. I keep hearing about it. I'm, I'm, I want to pay attention to the conversation, and it's not that I wasn't, but all in my mind, I'm thinking, we're going to get covered up with ducks. Got to feed everybody tonight. Got us some good old lean burgers on the grill. Got a little rain tonight. We're uh, expecting the rain to move out tonight, but it is going to drop about 30 degrees, and uh, the low tonight's 28. And that's about six in the morning, so it should be good and cold and ducky in the morning. Ever since I got the phone call from Craig, I have just been absolutely excited. I, I made a, a really bad attempt to try and get some sleep that night. It was like a kid before Christmas, but the worst part about it, I didn't sleep for very long because I was the kid waking up for Christmas. I knew what we had in store for us, and I could not wait to get out of bed. Uh, we got down to the launch, uh, getting ready to climb into the hydro tracks, but you know, the wind was kind of messed up for us to hunt the big blind. And uh, Kyle brought up the fact that there's a, a, a little floating pontoon boat, and it's an area that they call the Woody Hole. It's going to cost me $900 to watch this truck <laughs> if it even comes off. The Woody Hole is uh, is actually the deepest hole on the property, and uh, it was dug out, and then they just dumped the dirt around it, and uh, so that's where the willows have grown, and it stays wet in the hole, so it's that we call it the Woody Hole. <laughs> Man, this is awesome. It is. 
We are in knee deep Arkansas right now. It's gonna wear them out. To keep up with all the hunting action, check us out on the web. Season nine of Drake's Migration Nation is powered by Hydra Trek. Powerful, rugged, amphibious vehicles. Rio Ammunition, share the experience. Higdon Outdoors, get real. Boss Drives, take charge. Realtree, family, friends, and the outdoors. And by Drake Waterfowl Systems, innovators in waterfowl hunting. When you see one of these hydro tracks, you instantly you think that's that's a man vehicle right there. Uh, it brings back childhood, wanting to be in the army, wanting to be an army guy. Uh, they're built like tanks. Um, the one that they have here at Full Contact is the great big eight seater. It's giant. But Craig also brought along the uh, the Drake Waterfowl Edition one, which is it's decked out, embroidered. Everything is Drake Waterfowl on it, which it's, it's a really cool machine. A few months before our hunt here at Full Contact, I got a call from Craig Simonton of Hydrotrek. And uh, he invited me to come down and take a tour through the plant in Covington, Tennessee, and just see how these machines are made here in the good old US of A. Here we are, Covington, Tennessee, at the Hydrotrek plant. Can't wait, can't wait. At Hydratrek Inc., we manufacture an elite line of amphibious vehicles. Each one is handcrafted, designed, and assembled right here in our plant in Covington, Tennessee. Craig. Hey. Todd Copley. Nice to meet you, sir. Craig Simonton. Good to meet you. All Hydratrek vehicles are manufactured using uh, marine-grade aluminum. They have diesel engines, hydraulic drive systems, track systems, two propellers on the back for water propulsion and they can go just about anywhere you need to go out there in remote terrain. Wow. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is our 8x8 chassis. We have two product lines here, 6x6 six six okay. and 8x8. Hydratrex are used for power and utility right-of-way applications, oil and gas pipeline applications, wetland survey, coastal restoration, seismology, mining, duck hunting, and one of the big applications is search and rescue. When an area is hit by a hurricane or has flooding from river systems, hydrotrex can be used to evacuate people, bring supplies in such as sandbags, water, generators, and uh, help people with humanitarian aid. From a recreational standpoint, a hydrotrex can uh, be used for many things, not just duck hunting. It can also be used for deer hunting, turkey hunting in, in remote wetland locations. Uh, farm management is another application that these can be used. Uh, we do have bush hog systems and other implements available for the Hydratrex uh, where you can take these out and actually do work with the vehicles. Todd, uh, one of the other things we do here at Hydratrex is, is our rollover systems. Mm -hmm. That's part of the customization. Uh, Different customers want different types of ROPs, rollover protection structures. They Accommodate anything, light bars, anything you guys yeah, want on we, these things? They... Light bars, go lights. Uh, we've even put uh, emergency sirens on these bars really? before. Uh, some of them are certified, so in the event of a rollover, you actually have a certified structure. Really? Keeps your vehicle from crushing, keeps everybody safe. We're very proud of what we do here at Hydratrek, and I'd like to show you a finished six by six. Love to, yeah, love to see let's it. Let's take a walk over this way. This here is a oh, man. XTB 66 model. Uh, it's I recognize the logo. <laughs> yeah, this is the uh, Drake Waterfowl Edition. Wow, that uh, is cool. The attention to detail, the, the the Drake logo cut out on the roll bars. That's cool. Yeah, that's, that's cool. That actually doubles as a decoy hanger and a <laughs> duck lanyard. That's awesome. Uh, you can hang your ducks or your decoys from this spot here and haul them out into the field. If you're familiar with other amphibious vehicles, you may be familiar with the high cost of maintenance. Uh, with a Hydratrek, the maintenance is real similar to that of a tractor. Uh, only once or twice a year do you have to change the oil, change the filters, grease, uh, alamites. It's a very low maintenance vehicle. 
This is a, uh, a custom rollover structure. This actually has a blind that attaches to it. You can put camo netting over this, a couple of seats in the back. And if you want to, you can hunt out of it. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. To us here at Hydratrek, it's not really amphibious if it doesn't swim in the water. Sure. Uh, so those propellers allow you to have control and maneuverability while you're out there in deep water. It'll actually do three, 360 degree turns, forward, backwards, turn left, turn right. Those are uh, counter rotating propellers, so there's no rudder. Uh, one propeller spins in one direction, the other propeller spins in another direction, and that's what allows it to move through the water. Wow. Man, this thing does it all. That's awesome. That is the coolest thing made. I gotta ask you, there's a key in it. Is the battery charging this thing? The battery's charged, it's full of diesel, and fortunately for you, we have no rain today, and we have a demo area out back here at the plant. What's a guy gotta do to get inside this thing and play? Man, all you gotta do is crawl up in here and we'll take off. To keep up with all the hunting action, check us out on the web. Season 9 of Drake's Migration Nation is powered by Hydratrek. Powerful, rugged, amphibious vehicles. One of the neat things about the Hydratrek vehicles are that they are highly customizable. Uh, we have a lot of customers in multiple industries and they require different features on their vehicles such as light bars, emergency lighting, uh, different styles of seating. Uh, some of these units go into far northern territories such as Canada and Alaska where cab systems and uh, winter packages are required and uh, we have the ability to really customize these Hydratrek vehicles. If you're interested to learn more information about a Hydratrek, you can visit our website hydratrek.com or you can send us an email to sales at hydratrek.com. Okay. I want one. <laughs> <laughs> if my wife is watching right now, um, it's time to sell some things because I gotta have one now. I just gotta have one. Well, you've pretty much gotten the entire tour. You got to see how That's we manufacture. Amazing. You got to take a demo. And uh, now you know what we do here at Hatch Trail. These things are amazing. Uh, I wasn't expecting this. Watching the video and stuff that, you know, watching everything on the internet that you guys have does not do it justice. It doesn't. Yeah, I mean, to watch from the, the building process start to finish and the end result, getting right. the motor around one of these things. Oh, man. this yeah, it's, is It's totally different when we bring these out into the field and people actually see sure. them, touch them, ride them, test them, go through the mud. I've mud. been very fortunate in some of the things I've got to experience in, in, in the industry. This is the coolest thing. Definitely the coolest thing around. Oh, that's a good time. Definitely the coolest thing around. Yeah. The woody hole consists of about a 40 yard pocket out in the middle of some willow trees that has been cut out. And it's kind of a unique situation. They have an old pontoon boat and they built a blind on it. It's tucked back into the trees just a little bit, but it's it's perfect for the situation that we were hunting in. Oh my God. The ride out was the coolest. It ain't like riding in a boat, that's for sure. <laughs> it was smooth. Didn't get hit in the face with tree branches. It smelled like diesel fuel. I'm in heaven. Cool, I feel like a real man. My truck feels like a real truck. It was white. You know, the cool thing about it, we're winding through all these little channels and cuts and ditches, and uh, you just come into an area, boom, there's a pontoon boat sitting there floating, covered up in trees and stuff. And it, it worked out great. We backed the Hydratrex right in, unloaded anything. You know, I'm wearing waders. I never once got wet this weekend. I never stepped in the water, anything. There's just it's a great situation, it's a great setup. You jump off the Hydratrek right into the blind, it's go time, it's ready to hunt. <laughs> the happy dog. Happy dog. <laughs> Patty, the dog in the box, his uh, happiness increases with the calling of the ducks. When we start blowing duck calls, his tail starts banging on the side of the wall. <laughs> we had 
some decoys that were tucked up a little bit tight. And I, I just don't think there's enough out in the middle of the hole for the birds to get into. So uh, got the guys out doing a little bit of adjusting and uh, birds will see what they do. You know, the woody hole was a lot of fun. The bad thing about it, we had a lot of wind. And how that set up, it was cloudy out also, and the ducks just didn't want to commit like they're used to probably at full contact. Nonetheless, we still had some success. It was a great hunt. Busting ducks in Arkansas. Yeah. That's what we want them to do. <laughs> Kill him. That a boy. Nice. We decided to pack up a little bit early. I, I was okay with that because I knew that there was there was bad things to come to ducks the next day. To keep up with all the hunting action, check us out on the web. Season 9 of Drake's Migration Nation is powered by Hydra Trek. Powerful, rugged, amphibious vehicles. Rio Ammunition. Share the experience. Higdon Outdoors. Get real. Boss Drives. Take charge. Realtree. Family, friends, and the outdoors. And by Drake Waterfowl Systems, innovators in waterfowl hunting. Today is our second day at full contact here in Etowah, Arkansas, and uh, Christmas has finally come. I've been laying in bed since three o'clock in anticipation for this blind. The wind is right. We got blue skies today. It's cold. The Dutch are feeding it. We kicked out a pile of birds yesterday in the corn, and we are uh, getting the hydro tracks ready, getting ready to load out. Can't wait to shoot them up. The whole ride out there, it was just, it was, it was crazy nervous energy. Could not wait to finally get into that great big Hilton blind. As we're going through the ditches, you know, I'm, I'm looking right, left, up, down, every direction you can think of, and we make a turn, heading down another chute, and then all of a sudden, it's, it's that moment. Um, you see this great big, ominous, dark, giant, Darth Vader looking bush tucked into a bunch of trees. Man, I got, I got, I got goosebumps right now thinking about it. it we, we finally made it to the blind. It was an amazing thing to see. And uh, I, I could not wait. For as much fun as it was riding out in this giant tank amphibious vehicle, couldn't wait to get out of it, climb up the stairs, and get into a shooting hole. Man, this is like a freaking hotel. You think, this is going to be the coolest thing ever? Until you get in it. Wasn't expecting anything like this. Holy cow. Now yeah, we're gonna first make coffee, and we'll get the food out, cook us a big breakfast in the blind. Everybody gonna kill ducks. Oh, that was so cool. The Hilton blind is, uh, there's been a blind in that particular spot for, I don't know, 50 years or more. And uh, that one patch of trees was there before the WRP pro, even when it was a bean field, that, that patch of trees was there. So we just, when we rebuilt it, we just made it a little bit bigger. But it's always been a big blind that a lot of guys could, could get together and hunt and enjoy and, and uh, have a good time. <laughs> that was. I looked. He smelled the bacon. I looked through the holes on his beak. 
You know, one of the big deals about hunting out of this Hilton blind is, you know, you get a chance to cook breakfast. And I've been in some places, yeah, we've cooked breakfast. We cook breakfast in the boat. It's eggs or, or maybe some bacon. Not with Mike Hurd. Mike Hurd is one of the, the regulars around here that really helps me out with mainly cooking. He's the, he's the kitchen manager, we call him. And uh, he, he's a big help. When Mike Hurd, Hurd is in the helm, you eat biscuits, sausage, bacon, eggs. There's danishes, coffee, the hottest coffee in the world. When you're cold, it's the greatest thing in the world. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a great place to hunt. Yes, they shoot a lot of ducks there. It's not about shooting ducks. It, it's about fellowship. It's Mr. Freeman built this to hunt ducks out of, but it's not about, his, his intent was more than, than hunting ducks. From the time I got to Full Contact Duck Club, I have had an absolutely amazing time. We seen an amazing amount of waterfowl, had some great shooting, everybody got shooting, fantastic camaraderie, fellowship, and it's not over yet. I think it's pretty obvious that Todd was in hog heaven down there with Craig in Etowah. Between the awesome Hydra Trek rides, breakfast in the Hilton Blind, ducks galore, and fellowship back at camp, I got a feeling we ain't gonna get Todd to leave. As a matter of fact, we're gonna pick up next week right where we left off here with Todd and more great hunting in the Hydra Trek region of the Migration Nation.